Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some apartment updates and I've been moving furniture around like a mad woman. My hair looks absolutely insane. My face is breaking out, but you know what? It's all good in the hood. I'm self-quarantining because somebody at work tested positive for coronavirus and I have a compromised immune system. So I feel like this is the best course of action for me. But anyways, on another note, I want to show you guys what I ended up doing with the bookcase that I got for free on the side of the road a couple weeks ago. Oh, Mochi's entered the chat. What's up, Bubba? So I've been kind of going back and forth like on what I want to use it for. And I was using it as a pantry at one point, but I didn't like that because it felt like really chaotic. And also because I felt like, you know, I didn't like all the labels, like just being so loud and it, it made my apartment feel more chaotic than I wanted it to. But anyways, come here, Bubba. Okay, Mochi says hi. Yeah, you want to say hi to everybody, Bubba? I love you. See, say hi, Bubba. He's like this woman. <laughs> I cleaned your potty. I gave you food. Your water's good, bubs. I'm going to play with you in a minute, okay? He's been running around and stealing my yarn nonstop. But anyways, like I said, I wanted to use it as kind of like a reserve pantry. So basically it's like the things that I like to have on hand at all times, whether it's canned goods or baking stuff or to me things that I absolutely cannot live without like, what is it? Not cornstarch, cornmeal. Cause you know, when you're from the South, I feel like it is sacrilege to not have cornmeal in your pantry. So, I got to buy buttermilk so I can make some cornbread. But anyways, yes, that is what I did with it. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It looks aesthetically pleasing. At least in my mind it does. To somebody else, they're probably just like, this looks so gross. Like, I am not an interior designer. My brain doesn't work that way. I asked my mom, like, what I should do with it. And she was, she's a lot, she's better versed in like decor and all that stuff than I am. But I asked her, she's like, well, why don't you just put like decor on there or like fake plants or whatever? And I was just like, my brain literally will not allow that. Like it has to be used and it has to be useful. I can't just be like, oh, here, let's put a crap load of decor on here. So that's always a problem I seem to run into. I don't know why, but I do. So anyways, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of that. And then I'm going to show you what happened with everything else that I moved. I feel like it's like a major change, but really I only moved like two things. So it's nice because, it, you know, it's like a, it's a small change, but it feels big. So Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so this is what we're dealing with. And I'm going to apologize in advance because my hand is probably going to get shaky as I'm filming this. So, yeah, sorry about that, but it is what it is. <laughs> so this right here is a bee that I think I got last year or the year before. And... I painted the green parts, but I just liked it so much. And yes, my last name does start with a B. But up here, I just have like little decor things. So this is from Michael's, like including the little, like what, what are these? Are these flowers? Like, I don't know. And then like the grass things that you can tell Mochi has chewed on because he's a booger. But... I don't know. I like how it looks, you know, 
I'm not a huge fan of having flowers everywhere, but like if it's green, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. All right, this, I think I shared this before in my, what my apartment looks like during a depressive episode video. And I actually went to the trouble of finding two different colors of brown paint. And I wanted it to look as much like an actual log cabin as possible. So yeah, that's what I did. This is actually from, I believe, Joann's. And I literally spent like an hour and a half picking out the paints. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. The only reason why I have this, and I know some people might think it's childish, is because I'm a huge fan of Little House on the Prairie. And, you know, at one point, like, she lived in a log cabin. And I've always liked the idea of a log cabin. So that's why that's there. This is something that I got from Hobby Lobby when they were still open, you know, before all this pandemic crap. And then this is something that I actually got when I was back home in Houston. And it's just a little, little cowgirl boot, but I got it from my favorite place, which is called Old Town Spring. So if you guys ever get a chance to go to Houston, go to North Houston and it's called Old Town Spring. They have really cute shops there. All right, there's not really like a method to the madness. I mean, there is, but there's not, there's mochi. So this is something that it's like a little handle that I have to fix, but I like to have the electrolyte concentrate stuff from Walmart on hand, just because when I do work out, <laughs> I like to bring this with me instead of water. And also, there's times when I get really bad leg cramps at night. So this is always like what rescues me if I don't have pickles on hand because I'll just drink the pickle juice. There's a big old thing of kosher salt, peppercorns. These are like chilies or whatever, just dried little chili, whatever things. And then in here I have cinnamon. Over here, I have nutmeg and ground cloves. And then moving over, I have, yes, three boxes of mac and cheese. This one, the unicorns. And I don't know, I just feel like the shapes taste better for some reason. And then this was new, like to me, I've never seen this before. Got this at Target. It says it has white bean added to the pasta. So I don't know if that changes the taste or whatever but we'll find out. I have some penne. I always like to have penne or at least rotini on hand. Ideally, I would have both, but I always have one or the other. And then I always have quinoa because this is like my go-to. It's funny. I'm half Korean and I'm not a fan of rice okay, anyway. I also have some chia seeds. And then in here I have flax seeds. I like to put both of these in like yogurt and also smoothies if I make them. All right, moving down here, applesauce, which, you know, just like a little snack or whatever. And then this is orange marmalade that would not normally be there, but I made it and I have two in the freezer. I also gave like three of them to my boyfriend. So, and then PB&J been into sandwiches lately. So definitely been making good use of all the sandwich stuff. Hot sauce, which I put on literally everything, primarily eggs. Mayo, I make a lot of egg salad in the summer. So this is definitely a standby. And then ginger, garlic, olives. I really need to add pickles to this, but I don't have any right now. And then tomato sauce. There's like a whole slew of tomato products that I'm missing. And then I have pinto beans, black beans, and then these are all chickpeas, and behind there, there's some dry chickpeas. All right. Let me get down on the floor. 
All right, baking soda, cornstarch, baking powder, sugar-free syrup, uh, let's see, Hershey's cocoa, just any kind of cocoa really. Crisco, which I don't use too often, but I do like to have it on hand. You just, you never know. And then vanilla, sliced almonds, which I like to use in salads, Italian dressing, which is definitely my favorite. And then I like to keep quick oats on hand because I use them in my protein waffles. So if you guys want that recipe, you just let me know. I found it and I'm just obsessed. And then apple cider vinegar, flour, which I need to buy more of, sugar, brown sugar, which this is the newer one, or no, this is the older one, and then the newer one's in the back. And Mochi has entered the chat. What's up, bubs? I have powdered sugar, cornmeal, chocolate chips, and then these are all of the newer packs of chocolate chips. And yeah. You guys can probably tell that once upon a time, I worked at a grocery store and I also worked at Walgreens and CVS because I have a tendency to rotate everything, you know, newest to the back, oldest to the front, but it's also just common sense in my opinion. But yeah, I love how this turned out and I'm so glad that I actually found a use for it that I like. Okay, again, I apologize for the sound of the dishwasher, but got to have clean dishes. So in here is where I keep my coffee, and this is just Cafe Bustelo, which is pretty much the only thing that everybody I work with drinks because it's literally espresso, and it's the only thing that keeps us going at work. I have an open thing of decaf, and then I have another thing of decaf ready to go. I have these number four coffee filters, which I've been going back and forth on whether I wanna buy a reusable one. I know I'm going to, but I just wanna finish up these first. In here I have Splenda or Truvia, whatever. And this is like my go-to. So Coffee Mate French Vanilla. I actually got both of these on clearance from Sam's Club. So normally they're like 10 bucks. And I think I got them for like $4 each around there. This is like more tea stuff. And I just noticed that little piece of paper on the floor. I have honey. This is like a tea diffuser thing. And then I have my favorite teas. So I'm a huge fan of the Celestial Seasonings Lemon Zinger Tea. Been drinking that for over 10 years. And then Sleepy Time Vanilla is another favorite. I also picked up the Bigelow Orange and Spice. And then in here is just black tea. All right, moving down. You can see we have like, I don't know, a wide array of things in here, I guess. So I have napkins, which I was using cloth napkins, but I wanted to use these up first. So that's why they're in there. I always have one thing of paper towels on hand. I don't use them very often, but you know, it's like when you need it, you need it. And then in here, I have placemats, <clears throat> excuse me. Right here is green tea. In this little tea box, I have like peppermint tea. And basically this is like the tea that I reach for most often. And they're like individually packaged, which is why, you know, this stuff is like still in the box because those are not individually packaged. And then over here, I have these things called superfood. And let's see, green superfood, antioxidant, your daily greens. Yeah, it doesn't taste that great, but it's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> Still trying to work through it. And then I have two things of stevia. And that, my friends, is everything. The only thing that I don't have in here are mugs 
And that's just because I don't know if I could actually fit them in here. I was able to at one point, but that was before I had these in here. So I might try to do that again, but we'll see. Okay, I guess while we're at it, I should show you guys this area as well. Don't mind the thing of trash bags. I'm in the process of reorganizing some things. But this is Mochi's little food area. So water bowl, food bowl. And then this is his kibble. And I measure it out in this little cup because if I give him too much at one time, he'll eat way too quickly and then he'll puke all over the apartment. So I'm trying not to have that happen. But this adorable little sign is actually from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And I mean, it's accurate. Love is a four-legged word. Moving over, I absolutely love this wire shelving. And if you guys pay attention, I actually have several of these littered throughout my apartment. But I have a fake plant from Burlington, or maybe it was Ross, that Mochi chewed on, like, to death. Little baby waffle maker from Target. This thing was like 10 bucks. I love it to death. And then crock pot, always good standby item. I have my Vitamix, which the container part is still, well, it's, it, it's dry now because I washed it, but I still have to put it away. And then this thing right here holds all of the attachments to my Cuisinart hand mixer. I have my Instant Pot and then I have my KitchenAid mixer, which I hate the color of this thing. I really wanna paint it like white or silver or something, but I haven't been able to find like appliance paint and yeah. But anyways, that is everything. Okay guys, I apologize if you can hear the washer, but I'm cleaning it right now. So yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> but this is like, I don't know, it's like a weird closet that is off of the entryway to my, or yeah, off of the entryway like coming up the stairs into my apartment. And I'll be honest, this thing has served many, many purposes. But since I've really gotten into the, you probably just saw my tank top on the floor. Um, since I've really gotten into cleaning in the last year, it's really started to shape up as like a cleaning closet. So I'm going to take you guys through what I have. So this is like a giant dish tub that I use when I wash my bras. And it's like the only thing that can hold all of them. And then up here, I have some masks that my mom sent me. This is obviously for my car. And I can't decide if I want to leave it in there or not. These are like the little plastic things that go to the... You know, the like right here on the metal shelving. I do have one case of water, you know, just for an emergency. And then I still have my tennis stuff from high school, extra keys and like keychains and all of my night eyes S binders and all of my carabiners and whatever. And then over here, I have a bunch of different. Uh, what am I trying to say? A bunch of different lint rollers. And then I'll show you what, I'll show you guys what's hanging in a minute. So this is like probably my favorite contraption ever. It's shaped like a little octopus. And this I got from Ikea. It's like in the kids section. But I use this to dry out my kitchen towels like this like I use these to wipe off the countertops and these are only for the kitchen and then this you know is just like a washcloth I use it in the shower or I use it on my face and then I have blue ones that are meant specifically for cleaning everything else so I like to dry my stuff out first 
because what I do with it afterwards is it goes in this large, well, I mean, it's not super large, but it's this basket from Target and I separate them into these little mesh laundry bags because with the size of these, I've had them get stuck in between my washing machine and the drum. And if you guys have ever had that happen, you know how much of a pain it is to try to get that kind of stuff out. So I have resorted to this. So I have one bag that always has whites. And then this is like a, like a dish drying mat. And then all my other cleaning cloths will go into another one. So as you can tell, yes, it is time for me to wash those. All right. I have one thing of laundry detergent, like actual laundry detergent right now. I honestly just wanted to see how well it works and I'm not that impressed. And then I use just bleach from the dollar store to bleach all of my whites. Primarily all of my towels are white aside from the ones I use to clean with because it just makes things easier. And then this is my homemade laundry detergent. I love this stuff to death. And keep in mind, I have only used half of this and it's already been a year. So just FYI on that. And then in here, by the way, if you guys want the recipe for this, let me know. But in here I have the Arm & Hammer little scent beads. I actually really like the Arm & Hammer ones, mainly because one, they're cheaper and two, they work. So I don't have to buy like the downy ones. I have a thing of shout because I am a messy, messy child. And then I have a backup thing of the, what are they? The Arm & Hammer, you know, things. And then bleach crystals. I don't really like this. I'm trying to use it up. I also have this, which I got recently. I've never tried it. So next month I'll be able to try this because I just used up the last pack of what I was using before. So we'll see how well this works, but I do like OxyClean. So I have a lot of faith in that. And then in here, I just have some extra OxyClean because like I said, I am kind of a savage and I tend to make a lot of messes. All right, up here I have some pet whatever stain and odor remover. Mochi has been kind of weird in the last four months and he's been puking randomly and he, I think, rubbed his butt on the carpet this week. I think that's what happened. I don't know. But yeah, this, this has been my best friend. I bought Febreze just because I wanted to see if it was as good as I remember and it's not. So I'm trying to use that up. All right, moving down to this second shelf. In here, these are the things that I don't reach for as often. I have different brushes for different things. So like this one is meant specifically for the carpet and this one is meant like for the tub. And then this stuff is amazing. I don't know if you guys have issues with bugs, but I do. And this stuff is absolutely amazing if you guys are having issues with that. This used to be in my kitchen, but now I use it to basically scrub out my sink in my bathroom and just kind of whatever I feel like using it for. And then I have a little thing of Goo Gone. This stuff is a lifesaver. Loved that stuff ever since I was a kid. All right, in here I have a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I have the backup pad to my Shark Steam Mop. And then I have some plastic cleaning gloves. And then in here, this is like the little water funnel thing for my Steam Mop. And then I have little brushes like for grout and a toothbrush just for random stuff. So it's everything that is 
in that basket. Like I said, just things that I don't reach for very often. In here, and this is a little Grove Collaborative little cleaning caddy, and it's really little. <laughs> I have my e-cloths up at the front, and I absolutely love these. These are probably my favorite thing ever. And then I have the ones that I use for other cleaning stuff, like the, these are just blue ones, I believe by the brand Quickie, and I got them from Home Depot. I also got the yellow ones from Home Depot as well. They're all microfiber. On here, I have like my most used cleaning stuff. So I use the Method Wood for Good. This stuff is really, really awesome. I use this on my dressers and my TV stand. Also, my bookcase that I'm using for my reserve pantry and then also my dining room table. I have just a few of these left and I'm trying to save them. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. This stuff it's the Caldrea Sea Salt Neroli Countertop Spray is like 10 bucks a bottle, but it smells so good. So you can see I have like I've tried not to use it all. Spray Nine, I use this stuff at work and I'm friends with all the maintenance guys. So they let me like borrow whatever stuff they have whenever I need it. And that was the first time that I tried this. This stuff is amazing. And also it is virucidal and bactericidal. So just a heads up on that. This stuff is amazing. And then good old Mrs. Myers multi-surface sprays. I love the basil scent. It's probably my favorite, at least for non-holiday scents. For holiday scents, I would say the peppermint and acorn spice along with the apple cider are my favorite. And then I have some backup hand soap. This is the Mrs. Myers plumberry scent. And then I've been wanting to try this Target brand, the Everspring. So I got the lemon and mint because y'all know I love my lemons. Over here, this is more like floor stuff. So I have good old Castile soap. I also use this in like my spray bottles and that kind of stuff when I'm not disinfecting. I only disinfect my kitchen and my bathroom once a week. I don't like to do it every day. And then this stuff is also amazing. Murphy oil soap. I use this on my, oh man, what is it? I almost said counters, but I don't use it on my counters. I use it on my floors, but I also use it on my cabinets. And I don't know, I think it smells really good. Good old pine saw because it kills all the germs. This is strictly like for the floors. And then this is as well the Mr. Clean Antibacterial Summer Citrus. All right. I have a big old thing of white vinegar, which I don't really clean with this. And I more so use this like for food type stuff. But I keep it in here because I don't use it that often for food things. I probably use it more for cleaning, which is funny. This stuff back here, Otoban, is my favorite product ever. It's bactericidal, virucidal, and this is like the concentrate. So I've had this for like a couple of months, and this is what I love to use to really disinfect everything. So if you guys can get your hands on that, it's amazing. You can also use it in your laundry and to kind of drive home the fact that it works really well. My first car was previously owned by a pretty heavy smoker and I couldn't get the smoke smell out of my seats because they were fabric. So my mom bought me a bottle of that and I used it for an entire week. And ever since then, like you would never have known that it was owned by a smoker. Like I swear, thing is amazing. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. I have my Dyson over here which I bought last year to replace my other vacuum, and I love it. I also have the O Cedar Spin Mop, which is my absolute favorite. But when I'm feeling lazy, I'll just use the Shark Steam Mop, which I do love as well. I have a little steppy stool because 
I'm not super tall, but I can reach a majority of things. And then I also have an umbrella. And then you can see the extra shelves. All right. Moving down to the last shelf. I have my O-Cedar Spin Mop bucket. And you can see Mochi has entered the chat. Say hi, booger. Say hi. Yeah. Well, they saw your eyes. I guess that counts. All right. Back there is an iron. This is uh, sink, declogging gel, whatever. And then behind that is a steamer. I have, excuse me, Bubba. I have this giant thing of the Clorox toilet wand refill things from Sam's Club. And I actually did need to buy these. It wasn't like, oh my God, like everybody else is going to buy them. I need more. Like I legitimately needed this. And at Sam's Club, they were like, oh, it's a limit of one. I'm like, I'm not going to need more than one. Like some people are crazy. All right. Over here, I have some more paper towels, which admittedly, I don't use paper towels a lot, but I like to have them on hand. And then extra box of tissues. And y'all look at all this toilet paper. So I think I told you guys the story, but I bought a 12 pack when I was coming back from my boyfriend's house because I only had two rolls left. And then at work over the span of four days, they gave me three, four packs of toilet paper. So now I literally have 24 rolls and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? Like the, you know, the good thing about that is I'm not going to have to pay for that for quite a while. And then the last thing I meant that I forgot to mention is right here. I have a, what am I trying to say? It's a mesh laundry bag filled with other mesh laundry bags because I don't trust my washer anymore. So even stuff like underwear and socks, I put that in a mesh laundry bag as well. But yeah, anyways, that is my cleaning closet. I love, love, love this so much. You guys have no idea, especially the lazy Susans. Like there's just something so satisfying about looking for something and you know, it's not in a basket. Like you just, you just have to spin something. Anybody else feel satisfied by that? <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been up to and, you know, what I've been organizing, etc. But anyways, please wash your hands. Stay away from everybody. And don't go outside unless you're going on a walk. And stay healthy. Stay away from everybody. I love you all. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.